Welcome to lesson number four, real emergencies, needs versus wants. Today I will show you how to save thousands of dollars just by cutting back on some of those wants. Hebrews 13.5 says, keep your life free from the love of money and be content with what you have. A need is something you can't do without, a matter of life or death. I would consider these to be true essentials, food, water, shelter, and clothing. A want is something you would like to have, what you desire. 1 Timothy 6, 8 says, so then, if we have food and clothes, that should be enough for us. Two boys were talking and one asked the other, who do you think is more content, a man with a million dollars or a man with eight children? The boy answered, that's easy. The man with eight children is more content because the man with a million dollars would want more. Can any of you relate to contentment? I'm going to give you 10 wants to save you thousands of dollars. I reference Jay McDonald from bankrate.com, Mary Hunt, author of Debt Proof Living, and our own experiences. Daily Latte. My wife used to stop by Starbucks daily. A latte is roughly 100 times the cost of a home-brewed cup of joe. Savings, $75 a month. Cable TV. Robin and I dropped premium cable and held on to basic. Savings, $25 a month. You could really save if you drop cable altogether. Savings, an additional $25 a month. Manicure, pedicure. We have many friends that go to a salon or spa to get their nails done. Save by going to a nail shop. Or better yet, for every month you skip, you could save $50 to $100. Bottled water. Mary Hunt, author of Debt Proof Living, says there are many studies that show tap water is better for our kids because it has fluoride and is not stripped of all the minerals. Savings, $25 to $40 a month. Cell phone. You will save $40 to $60 per month for every cell phone you eliminate. Your six-year-old does not need a cell phone just because all of his friends have one. Get a couple of prepaid phones and pass them around. When I was growing up, I would pull over and use a phone booth if I needed to make a call. Robin and I were in our 50s before we got our first cell phone, and now we think I can't live without one. Savings, over $100 a month. Lawn service, housekeeper. You hear, my time is worth more than I pay someone to clean my house or mow my lawn. Well, that's true if you do it during business hours instead of at night or on the weekend. Savings, $200 to $360 per month, and you can lose some weight while you're at it. So now you can drop your health club at a savings of another $75 to $100 per month. Clothes. American women who in the 1930s owned an average of nine outfits today in 2011 buy more than 60 pieces of new clothing per year. Truthfully, most Americans could, could go one year without buying any new clothes if they weren't so fashion conscious. Savings $100 plus per month. Private school, the truth, Many public schools are actually better than private schools because sometimes instructors at private schools are not even certified. Oh, and by the way, you are paying for public school anyway. We sent our two kids to public school and saved between $700 and $3,000 per month according to the boarding school review website. Kids party, here's one. Mary Hunt says, Every party now must have a bouncy house. It's not enough to just have cake. You need to have a meal and you need to invite the parents. We celebrate graduations when they graduate from high school. The whole group now goes to a Y. And who is paying for this? Spring break while in college. Who is paying for this? Savings, $100 to $200 per month. And for number 10, 
the largest savings, your second, third, or fourth cars. Robin and I had 37 cars in our first 25 years of marriage, including four at one time with four car payments. Call me stupid. It is the highest price, new necessity. In Europe, the average family has one car. In America, 2.5. Carpool with the spouse. Let the kids borrow the car if they have good grades. No B's, no keys. Savings over $1,000 per month. Now, in the next lesson, we'll be talking about getting organized one room at a time starting with your office. Be prepared to do a little clean sweep. And now for the Debt Free Squad Challenge of the Week. Select at least two categories from the 10 we discussed today and either cut back or eliminate completely. We would love to hear your comments on needs versus wants. See you next week.